Taoiseach, in anguish and despair, the world watches the terrible violence and devastation in Israel and Gaza. Seared on our minds scenes of civilians killed, wounded and taken hostage. Scenes of homes destroyed, entire neighbourhoods wiped out by military bombardment, lives lost and shattered beneath the rubble. The scale of human suffering and the depth of grief is unimaginable. The killing of civilians in Israel by Hamas was unjustifiable and was condemned. Israel's siege of Gaza, which continues decades-long daily brutalization of Palestinian people, trampling on their human rights, and the wanton violation of international law must be condemned. Yesterday, we lost one of the world's great peacemakers, former Finnish president and Nobel laureate Marty Atisari. He famously said, peace is a question of will. All conflicts can be settled and there are no excuses for allowing them to become eternal. As Israel lays siege to Gaza, international and European diplomacy needs to heed those words. EU Commission President von der Leyen's unqualified support for Israel's unmerciful military attack on the people of Gaza, her failure to assert the primacy of international law was reckless, inflammatory and dangerous. Ms von der Leyen does not speak for Ireland. Taoiseach, last week you correctly stated that the targeting of Palestinian civilians Cutting off water, food, medicines and the destruction of civilian infrastructure are grave breaches of international law. You described Israel's bombardment of Gaza as collective punishment and you were right. More than 3,000 Palestinians, including 1,000 children, have been killed so far, thousands more injured, 600,000 people have been displaced. The people of Gaza a refugee population are running out of food, water, fuel and electricity. As the wrath of one of the world's most ferocious military forces is unleashed upon them, as their homes and neighbourhoods are decimated by Israel's carpet bombing, Gaza civilians are left with nowhere to shelter, nowhere to run and no way out. Taoiseach, Israel's actions are not defensive. They are an offensive attack against a beleaguered, impoverished civilian population. It is the horrible crescendo of occupation, annexation and apartheid. This is not defence. These are crimes against human rights perpetrated in full view of the world. And if we don't call it what it is, if the international community doesn't stand unified against it, then history will record this as the defining failure of our generation. And our children and our grandchildren will ask us how this was allowed to happen. Peace and justice demand that Gaza not become the graveyard of international law. So Israel's blockade must end. The bombardment of Gaza must stop and ceasefires called, hostages released and space created for dialogue. Cahar Dera Kurla Lager Kruolak Israel Agus Bombardu Air Gaza Neil Moore Eganantis Europe Agavemar Priovgo Er Sun Sus Kogi Kora Agus Thali Idar Nashunta. Tishak ending the bombardment of Gaza, stopping the violence must be the priority. In my view, that should be the position of the Dáil. It should also be the unified approach you, of the Deputy. EU. You'll attend an emergency meeting of European leaders, Taoiseach. At this meeting, will you call for ceasefires? Will you call for an end to the bombardment of Gaza, for dialogue and for the imposition of international law? Thank you. Taoiseach, please. Uh, I just want to thank um, uh, Deputy MacDonald for raising this very important and very uh, serious matter once again here uh, in the Dáil. Um, and I want to say once again that uh, Ireland unreservedly condemns the brutal attack by Hamas and other militant groups on Israel and the devastating uh, loss of life it has caused. We also condemn the terrorist attacks that occurred uh, in France last week uh, and in Belgium only yesterday. Uh, and we also demand the release of all hostages without any conditions immediately. Israel has the right to defend itself 
and to pursue Hamas terrorists who attacked a civilian population, and we accept that right. However, Israel's response must be exercised within the parameters of international humanitarian law. Even wars have rules. Collective pun punishment should not be inflicted on the population in Gaza. Citizens must be protected, and Gaza must have access to humanitarian aid. Uh, there must be the establishment of humanitarian corridors. There's also a need to prevent the conflict from escalating and spreading to other parts of the region, which is an enormous concern at the moment. This afternoon, I'll attend an extraordinary meeting of the European Council today by video conference to discuss the unfolding crisis and to aim to have a united response from the European Union, building on the joint statement which we issued on Sunday. I expect the Council will repeat its strong support uh, for Israel's right to defend itself in the wake of brutal terrorist attacks which occurred on Israeli soil, and also to reconfirm our condemnation of Hamas. But I also expect, and I hope, that we will call for a de-escalation of this conflict, and Ireland will be calling for a humanitarian pause so that refugees, including some of our own citizens, can get out and supplies can get into Gaza. The conflict between Israel and the Arabs has been going on for more than 75 years. 75 years of wars, of refugees, of terrorism. There is no military solution to this conflict. The solution can only be one based on peace, uh, based on peace between Israel and Palestine, and based on uh, peace between Israel and the Arab states that surround it. Um, and when the fighting stops, and let's hope it doesn't go on for too long, I think there will be a need for a new peace initiative involving partners like the US, like the EU, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and other countries. But what you have to do now and prioritise over the next couple of weeks is making sure that civilians are protected, that humanitarian corridors are established, uh, and that any actions Israel takes to remove terrorists from Gaza is done in accordance with international law. Chuck, it is abundantly clear that Israel is not abiding by international law, humanitarian law, or the war, law of wars, as uh, you put it. There are 3,000 Palestinian deaths, many more people missing under the rubble. We have witnessed with our own eyes collective punishment, the targeting of civilian infrastructure, no water, no medicines, no food, and an increased level of de desperation. We have seen, and Israel openly called for, forced transfer of the population, another violation of international, in the clear sight of the international community. So I appreciate absolutely the need to condemn the horror that was visited on Israel and the killing of those civilians and taking of hostages. I absolutely do. But I cannot understand or accept your failure to condemn the Israeli onslaught on a refugee population hemmed in, in what has been described as the world's largest open-air prison an impoverished refugee population. The answer to this is peace. The answer to this is a ceasefire, not a humanitarian pause, not a de-escalation, a ceasefire, Taoiseach. And I ask you again to, to make that call and take that message to the European Union. Thank you.